Hello, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Professor Mayala. How are you? Fine, sir. Thank you very much for uh, accepting and coming to this program. Well, this, is, this is one of the most important platforms. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So whenever you say I'll switch, off, uh, switch on my microphone, I'm switching it off now. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Vodagawa? So, uh, Professor Murli, sir, I think uh, every speaker is uh, on the floor right now. Maybe I think we can just uh, get it started. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Greetings from the Office of Global Engagement, IIT Madras. Uh, this is Rudra, liaison officer and the study two coordinator uh, from the Office of Global Engagement. India is a country that has a rich culture. We can say uh, the culture of India can be referred to uh, the collection of minor unique cultures. Uh, so these cultures uh, have such a diverse characteristics like where we can, we can say uh, in terms of clothing, festivals, languages, uh, religion, uh, music, uh, uh, architecture, dance, food, art, and etc. 
also the history of uh, india culture is several million year old so iit madras is proud to have such a program and telling the world uh, who indians are and what what is our uh, about the unique culture is all about so it's a great honor in inviting you all to the inaugural session of the, the virtual engineering english and the cultural immersion program Uh, let's start the program by inviting professor murli that the board of counselor of sit japan to introduce the program So on this uh, special occasion, I would like to kindly welcome distinguished uh, His Excellency, Mr. Sanjay Kumar Verma, Ambassador, Embassy of India in Tokyo. Respected uh, His Excellency, Mr. Tag Masayuki, Consular General, Japan's Consulate in Chennai. Professor Raghunathan Rangaswamy, Dean Global Engagement, IIT Madras. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Professor Morlida from College of Engineering and Graduate School of Science and Engineering at SIT. It is with my great pleasure to introduce IITM SIT programs aimed towards exchange, globalization, and diplomatic ties between India and Japan. In fact. Uh, Sorry. Uh, in fact, I am thrilled to share that SIT IITM collaborative journey. For example, like uh, it was started uh, back to two zero fourteen, seven years back. I am pleased to report that we are, have indeed had very successful creating several collaborative programs. between sit and iit yeah, strengthening the global partnership there are many factors controlling in our success to sending the japanese students to iitm as well as uh, indian students to sit using the several program like sakura science program advanced project based learning global project based learning laboratory internship programs and phd innovative programs So here is the Sakura Science program. Just we invited uh, several batch of students from India, including IIT Madras, like a uh, few batches. This uh, this also we are making like interactive workshops and uh, systematic what uh, what ten days program. And also another thing is advanced project based learning. This is like a collaborative re research between the several universities, including IIT Madras. Uh, in this program, more than thirty students are came to IIT. to sit and spend like uh, 10 days and also uh, this is the output of uh, appbl program you can see like uh, within 10 days program one can make it like more than eight uh, international reputed journals uh, and also another interesting program this is like a phd innovative program just to be designed and implemented this program has been very successful and effective in increasing the number of uh, international peer reviewed papers This is uh, for the first uh, we pilot project we started from the IIT Madras, and uh, this is the main idea to to invite the PhD students for the three months, and eventually you can see like uh, at the we three batch of students came from the financial two zero sixteen to two zero nineteen like uh, several departments uh, you can see like a uh, low temperature physics and nano sciences mechanical engineering design engineering something like this. and also as a result uh, we can we can make it like more than 25 research publications in this program including like uh, one paper from the nature science and uh, on the other hand sit students visit to iit that's the one of the interesting program global project based learning this was conducted in a few times uh, at uh, iit madras material science department this was uh, supported by the professor ramchandra rao head of the department This is the two weeks program where students from the SIT will be engaged the research topics uh, along with IIT students. This is also one of the successful program. 
and this is the one of the most interesting and important program for us like short term engineering english and departmental visit program this program was started like uh, nearly 7 years back i sent more than like uh, 250 students to anna university and iit madras iit madras like around close to 200 students because uh, this is like the 16th uh, program this is also first we started uh, the help of uh, professor ramchandra rao then later it was moved to the international department this main idea to departmental visits uh, engineering english program no the uh, cultural visits and uh, cultural trips uh, this uh, program also you can see like uh, outcome uh, teachers are putting the more efforts uh, to the our uh, teaching and uh, supporting the the whole the program you can see the ground like uh, the score of the entry level and existing clearly indicate that it will be large improvement uh, students of the high value of university globalization you can see interracial visit they are visiting several industries around the area and cultural visits and uh, cultural exchange of this program lastly i want to express uh, my happiness as the global pandemic covid 19 had not uh, disturbed our uh, relationship where we are still working towards uh, joint research projects leading to the top publications and also conducting virtual engineering program something like this uh, towards the further framework of the collaboration so thank you very much thank you uh, thank you professor uh, murlidhar uh, it's my pleasure in inviting professor ragnathan rangaswamy uh, the dean of global engagement to deliver his address uh, thank you rudra and uh, it's my real pleasure to invite all of you here um, uh, ambassador sanjay kumar uh, consular general taga masayuki and general manager osa musugiyama and professor murlidhar i welcome all of you to this program we are indeed really really pleased to have uh, the Japanese students participate in this program. We do this uh, usually in person. And uh, last time when I met them, it was such a joy uh, to see the students enjoying. I still remember um, as soon as I took over as a dean of global engagement, um, COVID started. So all my global travel stopped right as soon as I started. But uh, the last function that I attended was actually handing out certificates to students from Japan. And it was such a joy to see all of them having enjoyed the time at IIT Patras. Indeed, uh, physically, if we did this, it would be fantastic. And um, we would hope that this would happen again next year. However, I think uh, it's our great pleasure to really have the students do this through um, online medium. And we are all learning how to do this better and better. And I think uh, this time Rudra, who's been coordinating this, has been really creative. I saw the program and I thought I should myself do some yoga through this program. I really hope uh, all the students enjoy the program as much as I imagined that they would. And uh, I am really thankful to Professor Murli for really pushing this collaboration so successfully. And I only hope that this collaboration goes from strength to strength and uh, we have a lot more engagement with physical visits from both directions. Uh, thank you again, everyone, for taking your time to be here in this morning. And I hope this uh, program is a great success. And I really welcome you all to IIT Madras virtually. Thank you, Rudra Anathis. Thank you. Thank you so much, Professor. So it's my honor to invite His Excellency, the Ambassador of India to Japan, Mr. Sanjay Kumar Radma, IFS, to deliver his chief guest address. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much, Rudra, for introducing me. Uh, Professor Raghunathan Ragaswamy, Dean, Global Engagement at IIT Madras. Mr. Taga Masayuki, Consul General of Japan in Chennai. Professor Murli Dhar Miryala uh, from SIT, who is the key pillar of this program as far as Japan is concerned. It is my privilege to address the inaugural ceremony of virtual engineering English and cultural immersion, being jointly organized by Shibaura Institute of Technology and the Indian Institute of Technology Madras. The program provides a unique platform to showcase the Indian education system and give the student an important opportunity to get to know more about India and the historic ties that connect 
India and Japan. It is also important to understand that then we, when we move to engage the world, there are two most important tools which need to be kept in mind. One is language, another is culture. If we are able to laugh at the jokes of our host, if we are able to eat the way our hosts eat, we have already broken the ice, we have come half the way. And rest all depends on the gray matter which all of you have as experts of your own disciplines. Friends, as you might be aware, friendship between India and Japan has a long history rooted in a spiritual affinity and strong cultural and civilizational ties. India's earliest documented direct contact with Japan was with the Todaji temple in Nara, where the consecration or eye opening of the towering statue of Lord Buddha was performed by an Indian monk, Bodhisena. That was done way back in 752 AD. Over the years, many prominent Indians have associated with Japan in various capacities, such as Swami Vivekanan, Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore, entrepreneur J.R.D. Tata, freedom fighter Netaji Swash Chandra Bose, and Justice Radha Binod Pal, to name a few. Presently, more than 40,000 Indians call Japan as their home, acting as a significant pillar in our spatial, strategic, and global partnership. Indian diaspora in Japan is engaged in all types of activities, including financial industry, information and communication technology, hospitality industry, amongst others. Cooperation in the field of education is an important component of India-Japan bilateral relations. There are over 300 academic and research partnership, which includes a student exchange between more than 70 universities or institutes of Japan and around 105 universities or institutes in India. These partnerships range from liberal arts to management and business studies, legal studies, international studies, linguistics, Ayurveda, science, technology, economics, and mathematics, including fast emerging frontier technologies, such as nanotechnology and quantum mechanics, uh, quantum computing. The students and teacher exchange and scholarship programs, especially short term, are enabling a large number of Indian students and teachers to visit and experience Japan and vice versa. As I initially talked about the importance and language of culture in any international outreach, this particular phenomena has put us on a fast track in understanding each other from linguistic, cultural, and habitual point of view. I was told that this program will introduce Indian education system to students and will have classes for English and Tamil. I hope students can take valuable lessons learned from these classes and apply them in their everyday life. I am happy to note that we are seeing increased interest in Japanese language in India. The number of candidates appearing in Japanese language exams in India is increasing fast pace. Just before the COVID hit us, there were 26,000 Indian students and professionals who took Japanese language proficiency test in India, uh, which signifies a lot when it comes to our cultural interactions between our two countries. Similarly, interest in Indian languages by Japanese students will be the key to building long lasting understanding of people to people linkages. Friends, yoga is yet another important part of Indian culture. It is extremely popular in Japan and with the help of the Indian establishments, which is the Indian Embassy in Tokyo 
and the Consulate General of India in Osaka. This has been given priority and it is being accepted as a part of the Japanese practice in Japan. It is essentially a spiritual discipline based on an extremely subtle science which focuses on bringing harmony between mind and body. It is the art of science of healthy living. The word yoga is derived from the Sanskrit root yuj, meaning to join or to unite. As per yogic scriptures, the practice of yoga leads to the union of individual consciousness with that of the universal consciousness, indicating a perfect harmony between the mind and body, man and nature. According to modern scientists, everything in the universe is just a manifestation of some quantum firmament. One who experiences this oneness of existence is said to be in yoga and is termed as a yogi, having attained a state of freedom referred to as mukti, nirvana or moksha. Therefore, the aim of yoga is self-realization. I'm pleased to note that the program incorporates yoga classes that will allow students to learn the basics of yoga and become practitioners of this ancient science. To our Japanese friends, in the Embassy of India, we do run yoga program. And at the moment, we have close to about 462 yoga students in uh, the embassy program. Uh, unfortunately, due to COVID-19 pandemic, we have not been able to conduct these programs much in person, but rather in the hybrid mode and the larger numbers are available on the virtual platform. I'm also delighted to let you know that the year of 2022 will mark the 70th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations between India and Japan. Cultural relations between the two countries have been established many, many centuries ago. It will also mark the 75th anniversary of India's independence. Our 75th year as a free nation is also starting point to envision where we will be on our centenary. The bold transformations at home will give us an increasingly salient role in the international system. As a demo democratic polity, a pluralistic society, an innovative economy, and as a culture of unmatched diversity, our contributions have a real weight and value to contribute to the Sudhav Kutumbakam world is one family. Already India is perceived as a first responder, a climate action leader, the pharmacy of the world, a reservoir of talent, and a reliable development partner. It depends on our young friends who are present today to take this further and prove to the world time and again that we are there to contribute to creating global good and distribute them to all those who are in need of such good. It is in this spirit that we mark our 75th anniversary as Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. We com commence a period of connecting the world even closer to India and enhancing its appreciation of the many ways in which we enrich global society. I'm sure that sessions on India will enable you to appreciate Indian diversity its rich history, culture, and above all, its unity. I hope this program will help further strengthen India-Japan friendship and promote exchanges between our two countries. Before I end, I wish to profoundly thank the organizers for conceptualizing this event and all of you for your valuable time. Dhanivad, thank you, and Arigato Gudaimasa.
Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, indeed, it, it was a, a really good uh, thoughts uh, to hear from you. I'm pleased to welcome uh, respected Mr. Uh, Taga Masayaki, the Consul General of Japan Consulate in Chennai, to speak a few words. Over to you, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, His Excellency Ambassador Barma, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to extend my thanks to Professor uh, Rengaswamy, Professor Muridal, and concerned staff of IIT Madras for arranging uh, this program and inviting me to say a few words uh, in the inaugural ceremony. I would like to also welcome the student of Shibaura Institute of Technology who were expected to learn a lot by participating in this program. Today, Japan and India are enjoying the excellent relations as special strategic and global partner. So our cooperation is deepening and widening, not only in the field of political dialogue or economic relations, but also science, technology, and cultural relations. Since you're the student of science and technology, you may be interested in the, our successful cooperation and exchanges in high-tech area. One example is happening at the High Energy Accelerator Research Organization in Tsukuba. That is Ko Energy Kasoku Kenkyu Kiko in Tsukuba. Indian researchers are doing excellent experimental work for material research using uh, Indian beam line in photon factory of Keck. And another example is Dai Lab. This is established by the collaboration of National Institutes of Advanced Industry, Air Science and Technology, Sansoken, and Department of Biotechnology Government of India. Researchers of India and Japan are cooperating very closely in biochemical research in this platform. I don't talk much about this, but to, if you are interested, uh, please uh, check respective webs of CAC and Dialab. Now I'd like to just introduce two books to the student of Japan. One is about the Indian scientists. Do you know who is the first Nobel Prize winner from Asia in the field of science? It's not to Yukawa Hideki. His name is Chandrasekara Venkata Raman from Tamil Nadu, who studies interaction of light and materials and found so-called Raman effect. He won the prize in 1930, 19 years before Dr. Yukawa. And another example, Dr. Abdul Karam. He is 11th president of India, but who regarded as a father of India's rocket development. He's also from Tamil Nadu. Those who are interested in mathematics, you may have about Srinivasa Lama Nujun. He's also from Tamil Nadu. I don't talk much about them or others, but if you are interested, please uh, read uh, this book, Indo no Kagaksha, Zuno Taikoku Eno Michi by Mikami Yoshiki. And they say these great blends were indigenous, nurtured by rich traditional culture and religion. Tamil Nadu is very famous for beautiful temples, stone cutting technology back to 2000 years ago is spark and fine craftsmanship of sculpture are very much remarkable. And Tamil language is also very old. I fully agree that Ambassador Verma said 
language, understanding language and culture is very important. Actually, regarding Tamil, one professor of Japan, Ono Susumu, he submitted idea of Japanese language originated from Tamil language, comparing the words and uh, ancient literature of Japan, that Manyoshu, and that of Tamil, that uh, called Sangam. This is a collection of poems. It's compiled about 2,000 years ago. Though many Japanese scholars express the contradict or negative opinion on his idea, but I still think it's big room to study and examine his opinion. This is a book called Nihon Go no Kigen by Ono Susumu. Actually, it is very important as Ambassador uh, Verma said to understand about the language, culture of other countries or other people so that we can uh, cooperate much, much closer. And as I mentioned earlier, as a sp strate special strategic and global partner, relation between the government of India and Japan is very strong and now our economic relations are expanding. However, we need to expand much, much more people to people exchanges. And especially I'd like to see more interaction between universities of India and Japan and to see the exchange of students of two countries. I hope Japanese students participating in this program understand more about India and hopefully visit India, Chennai and IIT Madras sometime in future. So as student of IITM would know more about Japan and visit Japan and exchange with the student of Japan. So while thanking again to Professor Langa Suami and uh, Professor Murari Dar and concerned staff of IIT Madras for arranging this program. I'd like to extend my best wishes for the success of this program and good achievement of Japanese students participating in this program. Thank you. Danyawad Nandri. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, in a minute, I'll just uh, introduce the tutors of this uh, program. Uh, so uh, we have uh, Dr. Manjula Rajan for English, and we have uh, Ms. Abirami for yoga, and we have uh, Mr. Vigneshwar for the cultural studies, and then we have Ms. Manita for the native language. Right now, uh, I may uh, request... Uh, uh, <coughs> I may, I may request uh, uh, to give the vote of thanks from the, uh, the general manager of SIT. Okay. <clears throat> His Excellency Ambassador Mr. Sanjay Kumar Parma, His Excellency Council Mr. Masayuki Kaga, Professor Rakhnasan Mendoswani, and the staff of IIT in Madras. I would like to thank you for your cooperation to our student in this difficult situation under the spread of COVID-19 infection. We Shibara Institute of Technology, a technology and science university with almost a century of history, and striving to produce global engineers who will lead the future of the world. For this aim, the opportunity you are providing this time must be extremely valuable. So again, thank you very much for your support. And I hope we can meet in person in the near future. So, student of Shibara Institute of Technology. So I suppose so this time so the particip participating students, so you may have an interest in India. And actually several years ago, I visited India, Chennai first time with our student. And uh, I think I myself have a uh, uh, experience overseas 
some, somewhat, but uh, uh, it was really fresh experience. It was very new experience. And this time, so you really participate, so the program online, but uh, I think so you can get, so you experience somewhat. So please enjoy this precious opportunity. And after the COVID-19, so please visit India, Chennai. And uh, uh, International Office of SIT, so we'll provide opportunity to be a global engineers. So please enjoy program. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, uh, Mr. Osamu. Uh, 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 thank you, Professor Murlider. Maybe I think we can proceed for the uh, uh, closure of this session. And then, uh, and uh, thank you, uh, respected uh, uh, the Councillor General, for your uh, presence. And uh, thank you, Professor Ragnarvan, for your time. And uh, thank you, uh, the, uh, the Ambassador, His Excellency, the Ambassador of India to Japan. Thank you, Nandri, Taniva, and Abhihato. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Rudra. Uh, Dr. Manjula? Hello, Dr. Manjula? Ms. Abhirami, Ms. Manisha? Yeah, hi. Yeah. Uh, hi, Ms. Abhirami. We have uh, students here. Hello, Ms. Maniba. So that uh, Abhirami, you can go first. Ms. Maniba, you can just go second. Uh, just introduce yourself uh, for a couple of minutes so that uh, we can wind up the session. Uh, in, uh, I mean, a message to the students, uh, please join 11 a.m. Indian time, like 25 minutes after this program. Okay. Uh, Ms. Sabirami, you can just introduce yourself for a couple of minutes and then uh, Ms. Maniba goes next and Dr. Manjula goes next. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Uh, Rudra, Ru just a moment. Rudra? Uh, yeah, sure. yes, sir. yeah uh, you can ask the students to uh, on the video camera so that uh, they may... Uh, no, <laughs> their faces yeah. and everything. <laughs> yes, Professor. So, uh, a, a kind request to the students: uh, please turn on your video so that the uh, uh, the tutors can see you. See, Master, mera samava video anisya kudasai. Okay, Uh, yes, Professor. Yeah, then you can start, no problem. Okay. Uh, shall I proceed? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, hi, I am in now. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm your yoga teacher. So I'm from Pondicherry. Uh, so I'm here to flourish you all with your positivity of the mind-body connections with the yoga. So hope you all it enjoyed very well. Thanks all. Arigato mo, arigato gozaimasu. Uh, thank you, Ms. Sabirami. Uh, Ms. Malika, over to you. Uh, thanks, Rudra. Hello, all. 
Good afternoon. Uh, my name is here. I will be engaging you with uh, native language, Tamil. Uh, happy to see you all uh, in this program and wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ms. Maniba. Over to you, Dr. Manjula. Uh, but Dr. Manjula, you have to unmute yourself. Yes. Hi. Sorry, I was muted. So, good morning. We are, we are going to have fun in the English class. And uh, the main aim of this class is to make you happy and confident. That's what. Don't be afraid of the language. It's the best thing in the world to learn the language. And uh, I was amazed at the way your ambassador spoke. Uh, so who knows, you might be the future ambassadors in some country someday. So <laughs> make use of it. Yeah, be happy, be positive, and come on, and be punctual. Like, and make the best of this class. It's fun. It's not boring. It's not boring. We will have lots of fun in the class. So it's going to be a long haul, but be on time and be there. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Manjula. I mean, uh, 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 message to the students. Uh, please join 11 a.m. Indian time. Uh, I think it's uh, 22 minutes from now. I mean, you can use the same Zoom link to join back. Uh, Japanese time is at uh, 2.30. Yeah. So the Japanese time is 2.30. Uh, Dr. Manjula will be, uh, will be here for your uh, English classes. Thank you. 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 Okay, thank you, Rudra. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, Professor. I mean, uh, I'll be in the same link, and uh, probably if any student does have any questions, I'll be here to answer. Sure, sure. Yeah, thank you, Professor. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Rudra. Thank you, other tutors. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet Maniba, Abhirami, and Hello, ma'am. God bless you. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Just make you. it work as a team. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. And thanks, Rudra, for the good work. Thank you. It's my pleasure, ma'am. Yeah. Hello, Manjula, ma'am. Do you remember me? No. Who's this? Uh, actually, I came with one of the batches. So I am an ITM graduate now. I finished my PhD at SIT. Oh, 